Hi everyone. Uh, I'm going to share uh, explain now how you can share your presentation with the class. So once your presentation is ready, you're going to put it in a discussion board and so that you can see your classmates' presentations and write comments and share. Kind of like what we do on Flipgrid. Um, so presentation visual. Please post your visual for your presentation here on the discussion board. So what I mean by visual is your slideshow or poster. Um, you can provide a link or an attachment. Okay, so let me show you how to do that. You'll click reply. Okay, and then um, there's two ways to do it. Um, you can attach it. So, for example, here's my baklava <laughs> uh, slideshow. And what I would do is uh, I would download it. Um, you can download it as a PowerPoint or PDF. I'll go ahead and download, download it as a PDF. Okay, it's, it's down here now. <laughs> and then I'm going to go back to the Canvas tab here. And I'll click Attach. And go to my Downloads. And there it is right here, Baklava PDF. Open. And wait. <laughs> wait for it to load. There it is. And click Reply. And there it is. And so your classmates can click on it and see and, and open it here, just like that. And they can see your presentation, OK? So that's how to attach it. Or you can share a link, OK? Let me show you that way. So I'll click Reply again. And I'm going to go back to my slideshow here. Or it might be a poster, right? <laughs> it's the same process. Um, I can even show you how to how to share this link here. So I'm going to click the share button, and the share button makes a link that that your classmates can click on and take take you to the poster. So you're going to give general access. So usually the default is restricted. You don't want it to be restricted. You're going to click here. Anyone with the link can view. So anyone who clicks on, on the link can view it. Make sure it's not edit or comment because you don't want your classmates or me to change your, your poster or, or slideshow. And then click copy link. I'm copying. And then I'm going to go back to the assignment here. And I'm going to paste it. On your, your keyboard, you can click uh, Control V or Command V for Apple computers, or you can right click with your mouse to open the menu and paste. And there's the link. I'm going to go back. Okay, it's not active, so you have to press the space bar or enter or return. Return. And you see now it's active. Now you see that it's underlined. And I'll click Reply. And so when your classmates go to the discussion board, they can click and see your, your poster. OK, see your presentation. All right? OK. So everyone needs to share their presentation video visual. OK? You have some options on the oral part, the speaking part. OK? Um, so your presentation needs to be three to five minutes. So you're going to use um, this to talk about it. <laughs> um, you can do your presentation on Zoom, OK? And it's going to be three to five minutes. And, and then there will be time for questions. So you would pick a day or time. So this is the schedule. You can come to Zoom and tell me what when you want to present or email me or text me and I'll add your name to the schedule. If you don't want to do your speech live on Zoom, you can record it, okay? If you do it on Zoom, you don't have to record, okay? Recording 
is only for those people who don't want to come to Zoom to do their presentation. All right. Um, so now in the rest of the video, I'm going to show you how to record um, on Canvas. Okay, because Canvas has an awesome tool called Studio that allows you to share your screen and record. So let me show you how to do that. So I'm going to go back to my file here. <laughs> Maybe I'll go to this one. I'm going to click Edit. And I'm going to click here and click Return or Enter. To I want my video to go here underneath. And I'm going to choose the application here. Okay, this blue. So when you see these three dots, that's the menu. Okay. And I'm going to click on this one where this one is Canvas Studio. And you're going to click on again on the three dots, the menu. You're going to do a screen capture. So when you're recording, people can see your PowerPoint or your poster. So it captures your screen, an open screen recorder. You might have to allow, and it's loading, so you just have to be patient. Okay, there it goes. So you might have to, there we go. <laughs> uh, here, I'm gonna move over here, okay. So you can just share your screen. So it's this black box here, and you can even make it bigger if you want. <laughs> and then I might make this a little bit smaller. Okay, or you can have both. So you can share your screen, and then at the bottom you might have a webcam so your classmates can see you. Okay, um, there we go. And then I'm gonna go to my poster. Here's my poster about baklava. <laughs> okay. And then when you're ready, you'll click record. Hi everyone. My name is Vicki Mellos and I'm going to be talking about baklava. I'll explain what it is and how to make it. So at the beginning of a presentation, it's good to explain, um, introduce yourself, the topic, and what you're going to talk about. Okay, baklava is a layered pastry dessert. It's an Ottoman dessert and it's popular in Turkey, Iran, Greece, and many other countries. Okay, so I'm explaining what it is. I'll go over the ingredients, the steps. Okay, I'm not gonna do the whole speech, <laughs> but you see the time here. You want your presentation to be three to five minutes. When you're done, click this button. You can play it to preview to see if you're happy with it. If you don't like it, um, you can delete everything and start over. I recommend maybe doing it a few times just to get the best one. Or if you're happy with it, you'll click done and give it a title. Okay. Baklava presentation. Okay. I'm going to give it a title and click upload. And then you have to wait, <laughs> which happens a lot with videos is a little patience for it to upload to studio. So when you're using Canvas Studio, first it uploads to studio and then you need to put it inside the discussion. Okay, so there's two more steps. So let's wait. Okay, so now my upload is successful. I'm gonna click continue. Okay, and now I'm gonna go back to my, here we go, I'm gonna go back to Canvas and then here it is. Here's my baklava presentation. <laughs> Mine's not finished. Yours should be three to five minutes. Okay, now I'm gonna put it into the discussion. Click select and embed. Embed means to put inside. So I'm embedding it here. And then you click save. Okay. 
and then it's on here I'll zoom out <laughs> it's in the discussion so your classmates can click on your your slideshow they can um, watch your video they can write comments okay you can also write comments here okay you want to have two or more comments look at the presentation watch the video and then you can write comments here right you can ask each other questions like the baklava looks so delicious how did you learn to make it and then when you're done click reply and then you can close the the comment thread and look at your other classmates presentation so we want to ask questions encourage each other and this is a good way to practice your English okay um, and remember for your presentations you want to practice your pronunciation right especially with stress you want to stress the important words you want to have intonation at the end we do rising falling and focus on your vowels right ah a i a e u <laughs> um, okay and if there's any words or parts of your presentation you don't know how to pronounce ask me go to the tutoring center okay so um yeah we're gonna share our presentations here on the discussion and write comments all right everyone i look forward to seeing all your presentations and comments